Hi to all. So in this tutorial, I would like to show how to make a double cone, solving a few issues that generally we have with uh, double conical shapes. Uh, as you can see, I have inserted um, uh, the dimensions of all the edges, and this is done easily in CAD tools, uh, draw dimension, and I have inserted these dimensions like, like that. If you want to change the font here, you can go into uh, dimension tools, textile, and increase the height uh, of the of the font, and also the type uh, the units displayed. I am using meters, but you can choose any units you want, inches, feet, and so on, and that's okay. So this is the we have two boundaries, two conical shapes, and with the boundaries. And let's start going to Fem Tools. I activate a new layer and we start drawing our conical boundary edges. Remember that each time we insert an edge, the number of points, the number of O points, control <coughs> how many points will, create will be created for each edge. That the reason why I have inserted all these measurements here. This is 36, so I will insert 37 points that makes a mesh uh, of nearly one meter and I will start creating this edge here this is 11 so I click 12 points and I click here this is 14 so we click 15 points 5 meters I will insert 6 points and then this long edge is nearly uh, 49 meters so we click 50 points again 5 meters 6 points 16 meters 17 points and 14 meters 15 points I can use the C to close, so I don't have to click on the last one. Uh, the center, the conical center, 1.5, and uh, that's it. That's it. So we have created the first, the first mesh. Let's go and make the other one. This one, I remember, is 49, and it's so uh, 50 points. And I click, I insert this edge here. This is. 5 meters, so 6 points, 14 meters, 15 points, again, this is 15 again, 15, 15, 15, this is 17, and the last one is 6 to close the boundary and up here again so we have um, the initial mesh um, let's go and uh, fix a few nodes so I want to fix the top nodes here and uh, these are fixed and uh, then let's let's apply properties for the mesh so we don't need to to do this again later and uh, it's like that and then we select all the edges all the edges and these cable 16 edges and save okay there's one thing to say i don't want these nodes to be uh, fixed so we will unfix them and so these are free. Okay. And let's save. So <coughs> let's do initial form finding and see what happens. So this is my initial initial shape. You can see quite ugly. we want to fix now okay these edges are easy let's uh, change the curvature first 
uh, so I will select the weft curves and uh, increase the pretension for these and uh, let's relax again okay so I have uh, two conical shapes um, this long edge here this one here is uh, is my first edge this one here I will change the the pretension to 100 to ch change the sag and relax it again okay now what we want to do is to fix this middle edge let's first of all um, this edge is duplicated here we see that we have this edge on uh, the left side this cable on the left side and the same cable is inside the right conical shape so I will delete this one here uh, then I'm going to flag uh, this cable here as bottom B and this top one here I'm going to flag it as T so I'm able to find them easily same for the bottom one this is my long chain this edge here I'm going to call it uh, B and then the last one is this one on the top I'm going to call it uh, top T this only because I want to find them easily the first thing to say is this is my middle cable here the reason why we have a kink here is this cable uh, this these two cables these v-shaped cables and this middle cable here need to be in equilibrium that's the reason why uh, we have this v-shape so of course we can relax <coughs> this one uh, how do we do that well first of all we need to lower the priestess for this middle cable putting it to one and doing the form find has already relaxed this to a nearly nice curve here this is one thing to do the next thing is if I hide all my cables uh, sorry I, I activate selection only on um, um, membrane elements membrane elements I have activated here uh, warp weft edge and boundary and we select the middle here um, I am selecting the boundary let's change the color for uh, for these okay um, select all uh, double click on this one and control double click on this one and let's change the color to a dark darker color so we can see the selection okay again uh, select known and here select warp weft edges uh, when I open a window here I am we are selecting membrane elements and uh, remember that here in this edge we have a membrane element that belongs to the left conical shape and the membrane element that belongs to the right conical shape so I want to select all of them like that okay and if we go and we look at the C value the C value is 3 but since we have two elements, two membrane ele elements, the overall priestess will be six. I want to lower it again, and I will put it to one. So we lower again the priestess on that edge. We do the form finding again, and you see that, uh, that it has been relaxed. We have relaxed it a little bit more. Uh, but still, we have a king. One thing I want to do now is this edge here is made out of two cables. These two cables are, if I click on, uh, now I activate select all, uh, if I click on T6, T and Control T, 
Okay, this this you see is um, a cable made of two pieces. Uh, that's a, bit, a little bit not comfortable. I want to create a new edge, so I will create a new fem 2 d group. Okay, and recall the tool. Create a new link chain. Create a new edge. If I deselect now, and I see that I have a new chain in my group. Of course, once we have created a new chain, I am going to delete the old two chains. See, modify, delete. So, I have a chain and it's uh, just one single cable. Let's go to the opposite side and do the same. So, we, we, we can repeat. I click on B and control click on the other B. So, we have selected this chain. Remember that our current FEM group is this one, this one here, FEM2 group. And rec we uh, recall the tool, create a new chain from the selected elements. Uh, after calling this tool, we see that we have a new chain. Here it is. That's a new cable. So I can go and I can delete these two cables here. Now, we have two cables. It's easier to control these cables. And again, I will put them as cable 16 and the priestess as 20. Let's do the form finding and see what happens. So we have done the form finding. Isometric. The edge is still a kink. The only way to take off this kink is to increase the priestess for these cables. Instead of 20, I can put it to 50 and run the form finding again. So you see, we have almost relaxed this to a curve. But it is not really a curve. Now, we must say something very important. From a structural <coughs> analysis point of view, we need to do the structural analysis in this configuration. Because we need that these cables are in equilibrium with the middle cable. So, this configuration, this model, will be the model for running the structural analysis. Okay, With this kink inside the model, there's no way to take off this kink, this small kink. But let's say that we have done our structural analysis and it's time to make the patterning. Well, for the patterning process, there's no reason to keep this ugly kink. If I uh, activate a graphical group layer and go into the CAD tools, we can draw a curve from here to here, to here. So this is the a circular arc over these edges. I will make another one from here to here and to here. So you see how I would like my edge to be and how my current edge really is. Remember, so, for structural analysis, this is the current configuration. But, for patterning purposes, I would like to pattern this nice, smooth edge. How can we do that? Let's do it. I double-click on my edge to select it. So, we have selected this first cable. And now, in the FEM tools, we can recall this tool here deform chain to curve. We click the on this tool, deform chain to curve, click on the origin of the chain, this is the origin point, then it's asking me select the curve and my curve is my circle. If you, you right click, he will show you where those uh, points are going to be deformed. Of course, as we can see here, they are flipped. So you can uh, click on the flip and here it's clear how he's going to deform the edge that will, s that will adapt 
over the cool. So we can click on uh, the apply. And our edge now is this nice smoothed curve. Let's do the same for the other edge so it's clear. I double click on the on uh, on the cable to select it. We recall the um, different to edge. Click on the chain origin, this one, <coughs> and select the curve, this one. Again, they are inverted, so flip. We can see here how it's going to deform and apply. So we have made a smooth uh, edge out of that kinked shape. Before going to do patterning, <coughs> let's activate the nodes. We will select these nodes select these nodes like that and we will fix them we will fix them and run a form finding to relax the shape of course it will not change so much the geometry is very near the previous one but we have a nice curved edge very nice curved edge so if I go into the patterner and I want to pattern this one I recall the multi cutter and uh, radial cutting and uh, center to conical shape I will put my patterner here and uh, make it and uh, generate patterns and we see we have these nice patterns here mm. see nice curved shape let's go to the other one I want cool. to pattern this uh, center control and move this one here make it <coughs> and uh, generate patterns now we see that we have a nice you can see here now we will have a nice patterned edge our edge is this one here this one here and this one so they will be nicely curved when we make our patterns and without those uh, ugly kinks between between the conical shapes thank you for watching